Hey, FTV, Kenny Ken, I didn't get a chance to talk to you on um, Saturday after that great performance, which is a pity. I apologise that I'm coming to you now on another poor performance, like the complete opposite to Saturday. But was that to be expected after the exertions, or do you look on it and say, come on, Arsenal, man, you know, how can you do that against City? And then you come up, all right, we know that Villa, they've got a lot to play for, they're hungry, but you come up and you not even a shot on target in the game. Well, the thing is, Robbie, is that when you when you um, make the changes that Arteta makes, what you do is you disrupt the rhythm and you disrupt the quality. We're not good enough, like um, a Liverpool or a Man City. We can make certain tweaks to the tweaks of the personnel, and then you can still maintain the quality. Arsenal are sent of tenth from the table for a reason because they're lopsided because they there's a massive gap between their first team and their reserves. And I think it showed today that, for instance, you, the big example is the midfield. And Sabayas and Xhaka works because Xhaka gives us control in the midfield and he allows Sabayas to take the ball off the, the defenders and try and create things from deep and try and make things happen. But with Terreira, you can't do that because Terreira's job primarily is to be a destructor. And it, he's not a constructor and that's where, where, where he failed as well. Also, Disrupting the, you know, bringing Kalasnach back, who looked rusty as well defensively, doesn't work. And he looked, he looked, between... I don't know about rusty, he looked frightened to me. I mean, he, he looked to me like a player that knows he made that bad mistake at Tottenham mm. and is desperate not to make another. So he just played everything safe, but still oh, caused himself problems. Well, definitely. But I think in the first 20 minutes, Villa allowed us to have the ball. But the thing is, is that when you when you get into that sort of area down the le- down the flanks, especially the left-hand side, Saka's quality of crossing was poor. Cedric tries to cross from deep, and it just meet and drip in the Villa. But we were still opening them up down that side, but we just lacked the quality. The minute Villa mm. scored, that's when they went into that 4-3-3 and became compact. And then what was happening is that we were, they, we were basically falling into that trap. There were still spaces down that wing, but for some reason, we kept on going in the middle where it's all compact. So mm-hmm. when we lose the ball, what will happen is that they'll get the ball out wide, Greedish Greedish will go the left hand side, and then that and then that 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 um sort of um gets them into the game. Like they should have been tuning up. Um, I mm-hmm. don't know what Davis was doing during that period. I mean that thank God for Davis, but everything about it disappointed me. It was lost sided, it was a nice sort to watch. No shots on target as well, which is very disappointing as well. Very unlike us in the last few couple of games. But mm. again, that 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 is what, what one of the things that we have to expect. If you're going to make the changes that Arteta makes, be prepared for there to be a, a distinct lack of quality, especially when you're playing a team that's fighting. You mm. can't pick that team again and disrupt the sort of pattern on, on, on any, Sunday. Do you think on Sunday, because again, you look at it and you think to yourself, do you really want to be playing a Bamiyangs or people like that? You know, Tierney's, Louise, risk them getting injured because the cup final is all we got to play from now. Yeah, but your thing is, you've got to look at it from a logical point of view, especially a time point of view. There's six days between the between um, the last game against Watford and the cup final as well. Yes, we know the cup final is important, but you've got to keep, you can't go in. You can't just go in with the intensity we had in our last two games and then. Make make the changes, and then you lose your intensity and do it again at Watford. Regardless of whether it's six days or what, in terms of the continuity and the intensity, it's going to be difficult to pick it up for Chelsea. In fact, the matter is, is that you've still got to have a situation where players are playing for pri- places. Arteta doesn't know his, 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 his um, team. That team that playing against Man City and Liverpool um, was picked for a specific reason, because Liverpool and Man City dominate possession, and they can attack you from every area in the pitch, and they press hard. Chelsea are different type of fish. They don't play like Liverpool and Man City. So, again, he may go in with different per, um, personnel. He'll definitely go with a, a back a back five and go with a two in midfield in the three at front. But it's the personnel, isn't it? You know, Willie is Willie Angler pays the same pose the same sort of problems as Mares or um, you know Bernardo Silva. We don't know. They're all different players. Remember, Chelsea are physical side as well. Look what they did to Man City, Man United. That was power. So mm. he's got to look at different sort of situations and players have still got to, you know, s- turn their manager's eye. That's where you still got to go with that intensity. And, you know, Aubameyang, 
you know, he's a striker and he's a team, he's a captain, but he wants that golden boot. So he's going to want to play. Lacazette might need a bit of rhythm. Eddie might want to have a, have a look at him and say, look, I want to have a go at the cup final. This is my chance to improve. So it's still got to go with that intensity because we're not good enough to make those chances, you know, those changes. We've proved it today. We are 10th in the table for a reason because we lack a bit of quality and consistency. And what happens is that when we play teams like Villa, especially the small clubs, we basically dictate the pattern of play. When they go, go in front, it's easy. Go, go in front against Arsenal when you're small side. Make it more compact. Give us no time on the ball. Let us go through the middle. We haven't got the quality to do that because, you know, we, we just we don't have um, like someone like a De Bruyne or Silva. We don't have those sort of players. Mm. So we're easy to beat by the smaller sides when we go, go behind um, away from home, just like Sheffield United. Just, you know, we've got to remember that regardless of whether Arteta is making all these changes as well, this is still a team that has been moulded by a, a, his predecessor, Uno, and they still lack a bit of confidence when things don't go their way. All right, brilliant, Kenny Kenman. Let's Thanks. Start. Robbie here from AFTV. We just got to say a big thank you to everybody who follows us across our various channels. Over a million followers on YouTube. Don't forget, you can now also catch us on Reddit. We're on Reddit, so get involved with us on Reddit and also on TikTok. Keep it AFTV, baby, right here.